Hi, Vince. Hi, Ramin. Why did you move your hand like that? That was a waving gesture used in greeting. Okay, got that. How can I assist you? Yeah, did that student drop in today? If you are referring to Andrew, I haven't seen him yet. Okay, thanks. In this work, we focus on motor skills for hand gestures. To this end, the system has to meet the following challenges. Perception. Capturing gestural hand movements. Recognition. Recognizing familiar gestures. Generation. Performing gestures. Learning. Learning of the observed gestures via imitation. In order to fulfill these requirements, we apply a computational model of the corresponding cognitive processes undertaken during interaction between our virtual agent Vince and the human user. Inspired by neuropsychological findings, our model assumes motor knowledge for hand gestures to be shared between cognitive processes of both perception and generation. Using infrared time-of-flight cameras and tracking software, Vince is able to perceive the human user's hands without any markers and independent of lighting conditions. However, when turning off the shared motor knowledge module, Vince directly reproduces the noisy hand movements via tracking. In the following, we show how the shared motor knowledge can improve upon these shortcomings. We take a closer look at the shared motor knowledge. The hierarchical motor repertoire comprises three different levels of abstraction. At the lowest level, motor commands represent small segments of movement trajectories. At a higher level, motor programs represent whole performances of a gesture, like drawing a circle in the air with one or both hands. Finally, at the top level, motor schemas group different performances of a gesture together, like waving with the right or the left hand. Activations flow up and down between these levels. Now we turn on the shared motor knowledge module and explain how it supports the recognition, generation and learning of gestures. In the following, we show a live interaction between our agent Vince and a human user. Here, Vince recognizes a waving gesture and understands it as the start of an interaction. Hallo, lass uns spielen. Du machst eine Geste und ich rate, wie die heißt. Ah, die kenne ich. Das ist eine Geste für Kreis. Stimmt's? Already during observation, the movement is compared to the agent's motor knowledge at the different levels. Structures found to be similar are activated probabilistically. In the example here, the motor program C2, which is drawing a circle with one hand, is the most active one and as a result recognized by Vince during observation. He responds with an imitation of his corresponding gesture schema, however by choosing a different motor program and reproducing the circle with two hands. Ah, die kenne ich. Das ist eine Geste für Kreis. Stimmt's? Ja. Prima. Jetzt mache ich eine Geste vor und du sollst raten, wie die heißt. Generating a gesture starts by selecting a motor schema. In this example a square. Vince then selects a preferred motor program for his performance normally the one he has observed the most frequently. Finally, he executes the corresponding motor commands as represented at the lowest level. Wie heißt das? Kreis. Das hier ist ein Kreis. Falsch geraten. Das war ein Rechteck. Du bist wieder dran. Mach eine Geste vor. Now Vince has observed a new gesture. Comparison to all known gestures in his motor repertoire does not result in sufficient activation. Consequently, Vince finds out that the demonstrated gesture is new and determines possible motor commands of his own for this movement. He then performs a direct imitation by executing these commands and waiting for the user's response. Die war mir neu. Soll ich mir diese Geste merken? Ja. Yeah.
Wie heißt diese Gäste? Kommen. Alles klar, diese Gäste heißt kommen. After the user has given confirmation, Vince adds the newly acquired gesture to his motor repertoire, where it is subsequently available for future recognition and perception.